Hi, this is James C2. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the new interface for creating business process flows. We'll also introduce you to a couple of the new features of them. Now, at the moment, we're looking at the lead to opportunity business process flow in our build. We have, at the moment, just the normal out of the box process. But you may notice on the form, we have a new field for CRM free trial. What we want to do is add this into the qualify stage. And if that says yes we want a new stage to open up between qualify and develop so we'll show you how to edit this in the back end when you're building the workflow now one thing you may notice that's new is in the out of the box lead to opportunity sales process the stages are now timed so you can see lead to opportunity sales process has been active for one hour so you can report on this and see how long each stage is taking to progress through but let's go into the settings area and we'll show you how to do the example we've said so let's go into settings we'll go to our processes and we're already on business process flows so let's go in and edit this one and straight away you'll see that the new interface is very different it does however have much the same functionality with a few additions first thing we want to do is we want to add our CRM free trial field to the qualify stage. So I open up this stage. Each of these boxes, the blue and white boxes, represents a stage. And inside each stage, you have your steps. So if I open up the details, here we can see the steps that are in our stage. Existing contact, existing account, purchase time frame, and so on. But we want to add a new one. So I go up to add and choose step. And notice it puts a plus between all of the steps that are already there so you can insert wherever you like whereas in the old version you had to add them sequentially in this case i do want it to go at the end though so i'll click just after the seven and say i want to put this field the crm free trial in there the display name is the label so i can change that if i like and i do want this to be required so i'll tick that and apply so that's the first step we have got our new field into the first stage what i now need to do is add my new stage and i do that by also clicking add but this time i choose to add a stage and notice i can insert a stage in between any existing stages by clicking the plus so if i wanted for example it to go between the develop and propose stage i would simply click there but i don't i want it to come here i'll click that and we can start to assign the details so what's the display name well i'm going to call this one the free trial details and what category is it? Well, this is still part of the qualify stage for us. And which entity is it? Notice we can look out to other entities and through the process. At the moment, I want to keep this quite simple and leave this a as a lead. And relationship, you can set yourself, but we're not doing it in this case because we're going from a lead to a lead. So I'll apply that. Now what we need to do is assign some steps to it. So the first step, which is already automatically created for us, I'm going to assign that to be the URL of the trial. Then I'll add another, which will go in after that in step two. So this will be the username. And finally, add a third, which will be the password. And that's our new stage in. But what we've still to do is apply some logic to this. I only want to see this stage shown if the free trial field says yes. So how do we do that? Well, we add a condition. And again, just like adding stages, I can add it wherever I like, but I'm going to put it in here because that's a logical place for it. And we can give it, first of all, a title. So I'm going to call this free trial equals yes, because this is what's going to happen if that says yes. So which field does it apply to? That would be CRM free trial, where it equals the value of yes. So I'll apply that. So now, as we go through the process flow, if that says yes, it's going to go down this path. But what we also need to do is assign a path for when that doesn't happen. Now, when we apply our condition, you'll see that there's a tick and a cross. The tick represents the path when the criteria and the condition is met. If it's not, it has to go down another route, but it doesn't know yet which route to go down. So I will highlight that and I can either add new steps and stages as I see fit under here, but I don't actually want to do that. What I want to do is simply add a connector that connects this 
into any other part of the sequence. So I can take it from here if it says no, straight into the proposed stage. We don't want to do that though. I want to put it into this stage. And you can see the connector follows there. So if this condition is met, it goes down this path. If the condition is not met, it goes down this one. So what I'll do is I'll update. Now, if there are any logic errors in your business process flow, these will be highlighted here. You can click validate at any point to make sure that it is working or it is going to work. But if you update it, it's going to do that check as well. So let's go in and see that in action. So I'll go back. I'm going to go to leads. And here we are, because in this particular lead, we have yes, it has opened up this area for us to put the details into. If I go back and change this to no, it disappears and we can move on in our process. So that's how you can update your business process flows. They're very easy once you've understood the concept of the stages, the steps and connectors. One last thing we'd like to show you, and this will be shown in a different video, is something some of you viewers might have picked up on when we were showing you the process. One of the things we can add to stages, which we couldn't do before, as we can add, as well as steps, we can run workflows from processes. The important thing that you need to understand here, though, is that the workflow has to exist already before it can be assigned to a business process. Unlike in previous versions of CRM, where workflows could only be run against entities, workflows can be created which run against processes now. And as a process changes stages, workflows can run. So to assign one of them, you would simply add your workflow and here you give it a name which entity it applies to and the trigger does the workflow run when we join this stage or when we exit this stage and then you can do a look up to the workflow now we don't have one set up yet to apply but that is how you do it and we will show you how to build those workflows in a subsequent video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that if you require any further information please don't hesitate to get in touch feel free to like our channel and thank you for watching bye bye